Y'all keep trying to tell me I'm obsessed with him, right? And I posted the clip where he brought me up in an interview. I'm not on no Dame Dash respectfully. I don't got to talk about him. I post other stuff. Why do y'all put this man on a pedestal for what? He kick niggas when they down. He talk about the dead. He talk about niggas in jail that can't defend himself. He assaults kids. He trashes baby mothers. He burns up houses with his kid and his baby mother in there. And y'all put this man on a pedestal because he make good TV shows? His TV shows is about him and Preem. Ghost is Preem. He is Tariq. All right, y'all. So P2, a.k.a. Supreme Son, is back at it again. He's going at 50 Cent. Apparently, 50 Cent recently went on Hot 97, and something was said about Preem. I believe it was something along the lines of 50 Cent stating that Preem had nothing to do with his success. So now we got P2 firing back. And speaking up for his dad, he claims 50 Cent has been using his father's life story, Prem, to profit. He seems to think that power and Ghost is about his father. He says Ghost is Prem and Tariq is supposed to be 50 Cent. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, but y'all know the vibes. As always watching TV, welcome back to the channel. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Pull up in the comment sections. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video, man. Follow us on all socials at always watching TV. And let's just get into the clip and see what Preem Jr. talking about, man. Y'all don't see it. It's in plain sight. It's in plain sight. He want to be the king of New York. You can never be the king of New York, bro. Hove is the king of New York, man. Diddy the king of New York, man. That's why he tried to throw them under the bus so he could try to take... No, Hove is going to be the king of New York forever, man. You can't be the king of Queens because Preem is the king of Queens. He got low self-esteem. He tried to hide it with jokes and innuendos and all that. Y'all got to see, man. This shit is in plain sight, man. And I'm getting a lot of information. And in, yo, bro, his niggas be telling me so much, shit, bro. Like, come on, son. He like niggas don't really rock with him in Queens either. Don't let don't get that confused. Nobody rocks with that nigga in Queens, bro. He's like that's why he go with the Bronx and Brooklyn niggas, cause Queens niggas don't jack him. Everything is in plain sight. Y'all gotta open your eyes and stop being naive to this man. I, I understand y'all grew up on his music and all that, but he not he not who he say he is, man. He ain't no street nigga. Every war he done been in, he done lost. Niggas cribs done got shot up, he done got, nah, you feel me? Niggas done got stabbed up, all type. He never won in the streets. Y'all gotta stop this this narrative, man. He's not who y'all think he is. Y'all gotta open your eyes, man. I hate having to explain this, but I have to. Because I'm the only nigga that's not scared to speak up against him, man. I'm the only one that speak up against him. This shit is crazy. How can you say that Preem is not the reason for your success? Your storyline in the industry was, God gets shot nine times, he lives. That's like a movie script. So, of course, people are going to buy into your story. You was the underdog, but you were scared of them. You were scared of Jimmy. You were scared of my pops. You were scared of uh, Lil' Kim's uh, baby father or husband or whatever he was. Like, you were scared of them, bro. So, how, like, and then you talking about nobody knows pretty much outside of the five boroughs. But when I go to all these different states and places, I get the red carpet. Cali, Miami, North Carolina, Atlanta, Washington, the Midwest. Like, anywhere I go, I get the red carpet, bro. So, how, like, bro. Preem and Jimmy Hinchman are a major part of your story, bro. They helped catapult you to the next thing because your songs was trash. That power of the dollar, all that shit you did with Jam Master J, that shit was Boo Boo. Literally. That's why they named you Boo Boo. And you really mad because Preem ain't want to f with you. Oh, nah. Why he talking hot like that? So Fifth was scared of Jimmy, World, and Preem? Holy moly guacamole. Let me find a clip and run it for y'all so y'all can hear for yourselves what 50 Cent had to say about P2 that got him talking hot like this. We got to get to the bottom of this, y'all. Let's run the clip and see what 50 Cent had to say. People are clear that who I am and what I'm saying is real. Right. Like, at that point, I'm coming. I got... Look, his kid thinks it's him. He thinks it's pre. Like, I'm hot because of pre. Right. <laughs> He doesn't, nobody knows who that is outside of the right. five hours. Right. Yeah. And, the, and he's going to say, yeah, I you have to know. And he's going to like, the, but there's a, that, that jacket when you have issues with these kind of people. It was a reason, that was a hindrance. Right. Like, it was a reason why Puffy didn't do the deal when we talked about doing Right. And why when I went to the other places. Right, because the like, street shit was so on, people was like, oh, yeah, I, I, I want that. I want this, that issue. But what is that going to be? And then, it's better for me, because I'm like, I, I don't want to do this. Oh man, so P2, he done tapped in and got all the stories from back in the days from his side of the family. He's saying people houses got hit up. I'm guessing that was Tony Ayo house from when he slapped Jimmy Hinchman's kid and they spin back and lit up his house. He also mentions 
fifth getting hit up nine times and surviving. He said that was one of the reasons that made 50 the underdog and had everybody gravitating to them. But in reality, when we talk in the streets, when we talk about what was really going on, he's saying 50 was scared and he really didn't want any problems with his pops, man. He's saying all of this stemmed from Prem not wanting to rock with 50 Cent. Oh, man. Say it ain't so. What y'all think about this, though, man? We got P2 talking crazy, trying to match his father's energy, trying to act like he's Prem back in the days. He's he's speaking on things like, oh, man, I don't see this going no other way. I, I don't see these guys running into each other and having a discussion, man. Somebody going to have to put hands and feet on somebody else. I don't know. What y'all think, though, man? Do y'all think this is all entertainment? Do y'all think, you know, these guys are just promoting and marketing themselves to get people to talk about them? Who do y'all really think this is a real issue? And this could possibly go somewhere, man. What y'all think about this? And do y'all believe the things that P2 are saying? He's saying 50 ain't really want no smoke with them guys back in the days. He's mentioning some serious names. Jimmy Henchman, Whirl, his father, Prem. And he claims 50 was scared. He ain't really want no smoke. And, and I mean, obviously, he wasn't there. So he don't know. He's speaking in third party. This is somebody's giving him this information. Whether it be his pops, his uncles, his father, friends somebody's telling it to him he didn't witness this in first hand so we got to take all of that into consideration when we you know giving our opinion and judging this whole situation but what y'all think though man put up in the comment sections let me know y'all thoughts let me know what y'all think about this we got p2 going off on fifth this was the same guy that ran into fifth son and took a picture and posted it on the internet so he been trying to follow in his father footsteps or pick up where he feel like his father left off and do the things he feel like needs to be done to keep that legacy going, man. He he got it like, man, this one of my father ops, this nigga a big rapper. I'm about to play ball and see where it's going to get me. That's what I'm getting from it. But what y'all think, man? Pull up in the comment section. Y'all know the vibes. It's always watching TV. Make sure y'all like, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you're notified whenever we drop. And until next time, I'm out of here.